Hi, it's a guy somewhere. Today I'll be showing you how to set up uh, an affiliate marketing campaign using a landing page in Bmob. So first, uh, I'm going to create the, the campaign, but using direct linking at first, and then I'll change the campaign to, for it to use a landing page so that you see the difference in settings between the two. And then I will show you uh, a little bit of the advantages that you get when tracking your campaigns using landing pages. So let's get started. So I've created this landing page here that I'm all hosting online in the Azure cloud. So if you would like to know how to do that, I've made another video explaining exactly how to host a landing page in the Azure cloud. So please check it out if you're interested. We're going to be working with this PFLY offer. And so now let's go to BMOB. So I've already set up the PFLY affiliate network, but actually it's quite easy to do. You just create a new front template and type PFLY if it's not done. And now we can just set the offer. So let's do the direct linking at first. So I'm going to get a link for this. S1 is going to be the click ID, so I'm going to type some rubbish here. So I get a complete URL. Now we can create the offer. So let's click new here. So I'll call it survey offer. This is a US offer. On PFLY, so the URL is this. I replace this with the click idea. And I'm also going to copy the postback URL. And we can save the offer. Now we're going to register the postback URL in PFLY. So we go to Tools, set up postback, and we just paste the postback URL here and submit. So that's it for the offer. Now, in order to do a direct linking campaign, I'm going to create a campaign for this offer. Here. I'm going to call it survey offer. Let's say that we're going to put it on Bing Ads, but actually I'm not uh, going to set up a, Bing, uh, um, a, a pop ads campaign for the sake of the example. We're just going to set up the campaign itself. So it's a US campaign. And for direct linking, because we have already created the offer, I'm going to select built in flow here. And we are not going to use a landing page at first. So I'm going to unselect landing and I'm going to select an offer. So this is the offer that I've created there. And if I save, I now have a campaign URL, a test URL that we have here. And we can see that if we copy and paste this in a new window, we're going to be redirected to the offer page. So see, we're redirected to the offer page. But what if we want to use this landing page so the user first has to click this button here to get redirected there. So it's actually quite simple. We already have the URL of our landing page here. So I'm going to copy it. I can just close this window here. And now what we need to do is first set a landing in BMOB. So I'm going to call it server landing. And we're just going to input the URL of our survey. So I think it's, uh, yeah, it's an HTTP URL, so we can use this. Country, I'm going to type United States, even though it doesn't really make any difference. 
on the landing itself and I have one offer in the landing because I have one button if I had several buttons to leading to several offers then I I would select another value here but most of the time we have only one offer per landing page so that's what I'm selecting here because that's the case and I just need to save so let's do that so now we have our landing page and we can check the landing page by just checking the URL here so let's open a new tab paste this and check that it works yeah so the landing page is set up properly and now what we only need to do is edit our campaign so I'm going to edit this and now I'm going to select landing so the campaign is still going to redirect users so I'm selecting the landing and saving and there's a detail that you need to notice here in the campaign links actually for the landing to work you have to use the click URL and this link has to be the, the button link in your landing page and if you see here if I inspect this button we have this link there I can just copy this copy element and we can see this click URL and let's open a notepad we can see this link here that I'm using on my landing page this is a click URL for the campaign and you can see that this is the same link let's have a look at, at uh, another campaign which is different from this one and if I have a look at the campaign links so the campaign link the campaign URL for this one and that one be uh, in, the, in the background United States pop at survey offer and the global uh, campaign this will be the campaign URLs are going to be different but the click URL is always the same so if I take the click URL of this campaign copy and paste it you see that it's always the same URL but the campaign URL is different so if we take the campaign URL for, for this dummy campaign here we're going to have this value and if we take the campaign URL for the survey offer we're going to have a different value here you see these are two different links But the link for the landing page the click URL is always the same and that's because actually when you access the landing page through the campaign link let's do that if I access the landing page through the campaign link so this is the campaign link from bmob then actually a cookie is created on my machine and so when I click this link which is always the same irrespective of the landing page or the campaign then actually the actual address to which I'm redirected is read from the cookie and so now I should be redirected to the, the offer itself but if I try to access my landing page directly without going through the campaign URL normally it's not going to work because I, I do not have a cookie set up through the campaign link and so yeah actually it's it's working now because I already have a cookie but if I clean my cookies I'm going to see it's not going to work so let's click my cookies last hour and now let's try to access this landing page directly without going through the, the bmob link 
the beamup campaign link. And normally here, it's not going to work. You see, because I do not have a cookie. But if I go through the campaign link, then when I go through this link, beamup is going to set the cookie in my machine. And then this link here, this generic link, is going to work and take me to the offer page. You see? And all is done through the cookie. So now, one interesting thing that we can see also in the statistics that we get when using lending is that we are not only tracking conversions, we are tracking clicks. So here, I've browsed my campaign link twice, but I've only clicked the button on the landing page once. So maybe I can try to browse it once more. And let's try to browse it a fourth time. Normally in BMOB, I should have four visits and one click visits because maybe my IP is the same so it's not it's not uh, taking into account all the times that I'm browsing the page so I'm on a VPN here maybe if I disconnect and change my my IP it will appear on the statistics when I browse the page so yeah here let's try again it appears as a, as a visit but not as a unique visit, but let's browse it one last time, and I'm going to click it. Yeah, because I'm not on a US VPN now, I'm not seeing the same address. But anyway, it will appear in BMOB. Anyway, you get the idea, because usually getting conversions for some offers can be quite difficult. So at least when you're using a landing page, you can see for, for example, for pop-ups, for which websites your landing page actually gets get clicks. Even if you don't get conversions right away, at least you know that for some websites, no one is clicking on your landing page button. So. Even if you don't have conversions yet, you can already stop getting traffic from those sources and start optimizing your campaign, even though you do not have conversions yet. So this is one of the advantages of uh, landing pages. And actually, landing pages offer other advantages, but I I'm not going to cover that in this video. So this is how you set up a campaign with a landing page in BMOB. If you found this video interesting, don't hesitate to like it and to subscribe to my channel. And if you wish me to do a tutorial about another affiliate marketing topic, please let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to do it. I hope this information will help you set up profitable campaigns and I wish you good luck. Bye-bye.